Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a quick video here dispelling the misconception of uh, Android, quote unquote, Android lag. Um, it's what you always hear. You hear that Android lags, uh, that it, whether it's a dual core or quad core, that it needs multiple cores or else it lags. Um, well, you know, I've had pretty much every single Android phone you can think of. And to be honest with you, I've never really dealt with any lag. Uh, even with single core phones. But now I understand originally where people were coming from in that it didn't have that same fluidity that you would get with an iOS device um, in the sense of, you know, now they've now Jelly Bean has implemented Project Butter, which gives it triple buffering. And you can see iOS is just very smooth and fluid. And everything looks smoother, everything looks more fluid. Um, you know, the icons. The icons are smoother looking, they're more fluid looking, they look, they pop out at you more. Uh, the viewing angles, of course, as you can see, well, I don't know if you can see on this video, but the viewing angles and the color contrast on iOS, on iOS devices, or specific iOS devices, tends to be good. Uh, the keyboard on these iOS devices is also very good. Uh, they're instant to your touch, and Android's always had that issue where um, either the touch wasn't as responsive, the keyboard wasn't as responsive, or it wasn't as fluid. Well, I, I'm going to put to rest that misconception. Um, here you have a Nexus 4 quad core. Okay, it's running stock Jelly Bean. And I'm just, you know, panning through screens right now, and you can see it's as smooth as can be. I can pan through to the speed of my touch. If I want to go through faster, I can go through faster. If I want to go slower, Slowly, I'll go through slowly. Point point I'm trying to make is that it responds to my exact touch. There isn't a second to where it has to um, recognize that my finger's on the screen. Immediately responds to my touch. It's the same with iOS. It immediately responds to your touch. Well, so does Android. Um, another thing, icons. Uh, people will tell you that, well, um, it's you know it's instant to open an icon on iOS, whereas with Android, it's not as it's not as quick. And, you know, you touch the icon and then it opens the app. I'll give you an example. Here, let's open the browser, Safari. Okay, automatic, right? All right, here we're gonna open the browser, and again, that was automatic. Um, I'll I'll do it again just to show you. Boom, it's automatic. All right, Safari, automatic. Exit out. Exit out. It actually exit out, exits out quicker on the Nexus. Uh, than it does on uh, the iOS device. Now creating folders, same situation. If I take this browser and I move it around to the icons, I can instantly create folders. Again, I don't know about you, but I see no lag there. I can make that a folder right there. I can remove it out of the folder and put it back. Uh, just put that back there. Take the settings and put it back there and I'm done. Uh, same with iOS, obviously, you're going to be able to put folders, but um, the thing is, you get, it's, it gets confusing at times, because sometimes you'll just try to move an icon around, and you'll accidentally create a folder, or the icon will be moved to the next screen, and it's not like you can take this icon here and put it here, it won't allow you to do that. Um, whereas with Android, if I want to take this calendar icon, and I want to move it to the next screen, and I want to put it here, I could do that. Uh, I could just take it right back, and then, uh, you know, put it back to exactly where it was with no problems whatsoever. Again, no lag. There's no lag there. Um, Alright, now let's go ahead and test the voice dictation. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and create a text here. Alright, we'll go ahead here, go to messages and create a text. Alright, we're going to use both Siri and Google now. Hi, how are you? I'm over here doing a video to see how well both of these keyboards type. As I am speaking, Google is typing what I am saying. Whereas with the iPhone, it is recognizing what I'm saying and will type it as soon as I am done. We're done here. We are done. Over here. Still loading. Taking its time. Again, you tell me where the lag is. Did this lag? 
No. There you go, typed it. Hi, how are you? I am over here doing a video to see how all these keyboards time as, as opposed to type. As I'm speaking, Google is typing what I am safe, whereas with the iPhone, it is recognizing what I'm saying and will type it as soon as I'm done. All right, so let's read what it says here. Oops. Hi, how are you? I am over here doing a video to see how well both of these keyboards type. As I'm speaking, Google is typing what I'm saying, whereas with the iPhone, it is recognizing what I'm saying and will type as soon as I am done. Uh, I was actually more accurate on the Android device. Uh, so Google Now or Google Voice beat Siri in that uh, specific test. All right, so you can see, again, multitasking. Um, if I want to just close them all out at the same time, that's it. Uh, if I want to close out apps here, I got to do this, and then I got to go through here, and I got to, you know, go through this whole process and whatnot. So that's just one simple test. Now, another lag, quote-unquote lag test would be um, just, you know, day-to-day -day operation. So let's say I want to go to settings. I can exit out of my settings. My file manager, I exit out my speed test. I'm done. I want to go to my maps, and I want to search a location. Let's say I want to go to Pasadena, California. All right, if I want to go to Pasadena, all right, I'll, I, can, I, can, I can get directions right away. Boom, I'm there. All right, I exit out. I turn on my navigation. I go to Google Now. Navigate to Pasadena. Navigating. Immediate. All right, and then I'm exiting out of that. I got to go back to my messages and check a text message. And then I got to, let's say, check my email. I'll check my email. Uh, I want to go check my people contacts. Oh, you know what? I forgot to set an alarm. Set an alarm. 10.30 p.m. Setting alarm. Set the alarm at 10.30 p.m. Again, no lag. Where's the lag? You tell me. Where's the lag, lag people? Where's the lag? Yeah, I know I can do the same thing here with Siri. I understand that. I'm not going to demonstrate that because I know it could be done. But the point is, is that uh, the, uh, the masses will generally try to uh, downgrade Android by claiming that that's its downfall or that's what it's not, you know, or the, the, the reason why people won't switch to Android is because it lags. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, is that it just just doesn't lag. I mean, there's, you know, look, at, look at this. I'm scrolling through screens like uh, Usain Bolt over here. You know, I got my notifications, check my notifications, I got my quick toggles, I got my uh, auto rotation, and if I want to turn on if I want to go uh, switch over to my separate notification bar, I could do that there. Um, if I want to check my calendar, I could check my calendar. Done checking my calendar. I want to go to Verge and read up on an article. Boom, I can go to the Verge and read up on an article immediately. I want to exit out of that. You know what? I want to watch a Netflix video. Actually, I changed my mind. I no longer want to watch a Netflix video. I want to go to my YouTube channel, and I want to check my uploads or check my comments. I can do that as well, and that's immediate. Um, or maybe I want to listen to some music on Pandora. I could do that as well immediately. And then I can just exit out of all of them by clicking this one button right here. All right, I want to play a game. Let's say I'm uh, inclined to play some, uh, I don't know, let's say Subway Surf. All right, I'm going to play Subway Surf. I, you know what? I changed my mind. I no longer want to play Subway Surf there. I'm done. I'm out. All right. I want to go to my settings, my Wi-Fi. I don't have to go through this entire process of turning on my Wi-Fi. I could just go here to my toggle. And a lot of times people will just put a widget. You can set a widget um, via your notifications. There's a bunch of widgets. Uh, you can set a power widget right there. I could turn on and turn off my Wi-Fi just like that. I don't want that over there. I can remove it. Here's my clock widget. I can resize it if I'd like, if I don't like the size of it. Hey, you know what? If I don't want to have to go to my email app to check my emails, all I really have to do in that case is go to Gmail, place it right here on my home screen, click on whatever account it is that I want, push my inbox, and there are my emails. You know what? It may not be big enough, so I'm going to make it larger. And now it's full screen. All right, and you know what? It doesn't hurt. The, the fluidity of the phone. The phone is still as smooth as ever. And now I have my emails literally on my home screen. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. I just swipe it up. All right. Um, this is basically showing you that Google 
has the capabilities to be just as, or I, you know, if not more smooth and fluid than any other operating system in the market. Yes, that includes Windows Phone. You know, when I got Windows Phone 8 uh, originally, I was excited. But after using Jelly Bean and uh, Project Butter Jelly Bean 4.2, um, I found Windows Phone to be not as uh, fluid experience as it once was during the times of Windows Phone 7 because back then you know, we were still running on ICS and um, in some cases you were still running on Android G uh, Gingerbread and it just wasn't as prevalent but now with uh, with Jelly Bean I mean everything is instant you can you know play music you know, go ahead and go to my lock screen change my song on my lock screen just like that. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and um, swipe over to my camera. You can go to the camera directly from there. If I want to go straight to my pictures, I could do that as well. Pinch to my pictures, swipe through my pictures, and then I can exit out of that by just clicking home. If I want to exit out of that completely, I could just do that. Pause my song. Done. You see, that's fast. That is quick. There is no lag. That I don't need to show you benchmarks, uh, and you already know this is a very, very powerful device. Uh, I don't need to show you benchmarks for you to know that this device is blazing fast. Everything that you do on it is instant. So uh, I just wanted to demonstrate that on a, on a smaller scale, and hopefully, you know, give everyone an idea of the difference or or not the difference or the misconception of the fact that Android lags. I'll be doing multiple parts to this to this uh, little project that I'm doing here, but this is just to give you an idea of what I'm referring to and uh hopefully we can go ahead and get that misconception um handled as I like to say. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Take care. Have a good day.